It officially begins in early January, three-month period leading up to the Oscars, which could easily be referred to as award season and which propels its winners into the Oscar race. It's a great honor standing in front of uh, the people. <laughs> but rather than being judged by a jury of their peers, winners are chosen by the critics in Los Angeles, Boston, New York, and beyond. This is a movie that the critics could have easily made or broken. And had this film not been embraced on that level to begin with, it would have not found the kind of audience that it's finding now, almost because of the critical response. So I, have, I owe a lot to the critics on this, on this, on this occasion. Perhaps more than any other Hollywood event, the Golden Globes are often referred to as the dress rehearsal for the Oscars. The Hollywood Foreign Press Association, which hands out the Golden Globe Awards, has no connection with the Academy and clearly won't an Oscar. Still, the Golden Globe winners will help shape the list of Oscar contenders, since they'll still be fresh in the minds of Academy voters as they cast their ballots for nominations. The Golden Globe winner for virtually every category from Best Actor and Actress, Best Picture, Best Foreign Language Film, even Best Director, all received Academy Award nominations this year. Well, you know, the uh, you know, awards, you know, fit into our lives, you know, between December and March, once a year. And, and, and they can help certain films, and certain films, uh, you know, are, are given a boost because of their rec the recognition that certain organizations give those films. Steven Spielberg got another step closer to Oscar night over the weekend, taking home the top prize at the Direct Awards dinner Saturday night. Dennis Michael has a story. Oops. Well, this will be a big surprise. <laughs> Schindler's List. Steven Spielberg continued his sweep of the major film awards with another trophy for Schindler's List, the wrenching black and white documentary style drama about Oscar Schindler saved thousands of Jews. It's so heavy. <laughs> God. I, I keep hugging this thing. I'm going to go to bed with it tonight. <laughs> also with Katie, my wife. Spielberg told his colleagues in the Directors Guild that it was a film he had approached reluctantly at first. I had no idea that this would eventually become something that I had, that it was my duty to make as a filmmaker and as a Jew. And it has changed my life. It's t changed and touched all of our lives. It was a story that needed to be told because the generations forget and every new generation needs to face their pasts all over again. Backstage, Spielberg faced the inevitable question, what about the Oscars? He deflected it. Once again, this is, this is your job. <laughs> you know, you're the odds makers, not me. Oscars were the issue in another category. Jeff Margolis received a DGA award for directing last year's Academy Awards. I think it's the most difficult show on television. It involves the motion picture industry. It involves the whole entertainment industry. And it's seen by over a billion people around the world. And, uh, right. Pilots fared well in television categories. Director James Burroughs won in the half-hour comedy slot for the pilot for Frasier, and Gregory Hoblet's direction on the NYPD Blue pilot was similarly honored. Robert Altman, the director of last year's Shortcuts, checked in on film from a location in Paris to receive his D.W. Griffith Award. Different people uh, don't really know what a director does, but, but you do. Spielberg took up that theme. It was, it was Robert Altman who said it very well in his acceptance speech, and I really echo his word. The people who belong to this guild know what it's like to make a movie, and they know what it's like to make a film and a documentary, and they just know what it takes to do this, and this isn't the this work, but it's the greatest form of self-expression if you can get into this end of the business. Steven Spielberg says he's planning to get out of that business at least for a while. After the Oscars, he says he's programmed an entire year off. Dennis Michael, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood.